since Spaces is now a member of the Ministry of Retro Gaming. 10 Tips for Traveling to Japan Since Spaces G'day invaders and welcome to Since Spaces and this is a video where I'll look at the top 10 travel tips for traveling to Japan. Now I've been very fortunate to have traveled to Japan quite a number of times over the last few years and I got to thinking maybe it's about time that I started to share some of the basic pointers for people who are going to be lucky enough to travel to Japan for the first time. These are very basic tips, this is nothing too in-depth but just something that you should consider before you start to fly out for Japan. So, without any further ado, let's get stuck into the top 10 things you should put together before heading out. Number 10 Before you head off to Japan, make sure you pack yourself a decent camera. Now I'm not talking about your iPhone or your Android phone, I'm talking about a proper SLR camera or at the very least a dedicated camera with decent zoom. You're not going to find yourself taking bad photos in Japan and there's a reason for that. If you go to places like Instagram online or Flickr, you'll find that Japan is always in at least the top 10 tags on those sites and there's a reason for that. Japan is just simply an awesome beautiful place to visit. Number 9 before you head out to Japan, make sure you install a Japanese language pack and more than one translation app for your phone because you never know when one fails, the other one might be able to be of help. More importantly, make sure that when you install these apps that they're going to be available offline because you're not going to get Wi-Fi coverage at every single place you'll need it. So once again, a Japanese translation app and the Japanese language pack. Very, very handy. Number eight. When you agree to meet someone in Japan, if you get the chance to meet up, make sure if you agree on a time that you are not late. You need to make sure that you get off to a good start with anyone that you meet in Japan and being late is a sign of disrespect, simply not appreciated. And this, this is a country that lives by the clock. So if you agree to meet at 10, you better be there before 10. Number 7 Always look up when you're walking, heads up. There are a lot of people here and it is quite easy to bump into someone as my wife just did on the way over here. She wasn't looking, the guy coming towards her wasn't looking, bang, collusion. So always look where you're going. I know it sounds so obvious. But it is so easy to bash into people here. It is so busy. Number six. Prepare to get yourself fat. I mean, real fat. <laughs> I heard someone once complain that they're not looking forward to going to Japan because they don't like seafood. And I'm sorry, but this is absolute nonsense because some of the widest range of dining exists here. Even the Lawson stores, which are like a 7-Eleven store, have a huge range of snacks and food that you just can't find in the convenience stores here in Sydney and Australia. But you won't be starving anytime soon. And one thing about the Japanese is that they have a very, very sweet tooth. So if you like your cakes, if you like your desserts, if you like ice cream and all that sort of thing, you're in for a good time here. <laughs> so. Once again, be prepared to diet. You're going to be doing a lot of walking to walk that extra cake and that extra sugar off. But just be warned, you're going to be doing a lot of eating. Number 5 When you're visiting Japan, you'll find that there is still some areas where cash is king. They'll have warning signs telling you that credit cards are not accepted. We found that the best way to get cash out because not all ATMs are compatible with overseas credit cards. We found that the best way was to go to 7-Eleven. So 7-Eleven stores have ATMs that are compatible. And also HSBC uh, Bank, they have ATMs that were able to accept our cards and to get us out of a 
potential pickle. So there you go, 7-Eleven and HSBC. Number four. Just remember when you're on the trains in Japan that you do not eat or drink except water. Otherwise you'll get all sorts of weird stares and it's just considered a no-no. Now the only exception to this is when you're on the Shinkansen lines, that's the long distance bullet trains, where you're actually encouraged to eat. And you can get the bento boxes and they've got cup holders there for you for those long distance trips. But otherwise, avoid eating or drinking on the trains. Number three. One of the first things you're going to get tempted to do when you go to Japan is stay in Tokyo because that city is just huge and there is a lot to explore. But don't fall into the trap of staying in Tokyo. Get on board the Shinkansen bullet trains and head out to the other cities. You've got awesome cities like Osaka, Hiroshima, Kyoto. There's just so many cool places to visit and it's all got something to offer that Tokyo itself alone will not be able to offer you. However, you can get by on a trip to Japan and just staying in Tokyo. I'm just saying though that I think that it's probably best that you do get out to the countryside. Besides, the trip on the bullet train alone is worth the journey and the bullet train is something that you will never forget. In fact, every time I go back to Japan myself, the bullet train is something I look forward to getting on. It's probably one of my main reasons to get out to Japan, actually. So yeah, make sure you don't stay in Tokyo. Get out to the other cities and explore the Japanese countryside. Number two. If I was to suggest just one app that you should download to your phone before heading to Japan, you should be really going for the Japan Travel app. It offers free Wi-Fi access in limited places. Uh, it can also help you with navigating the complex JR lines. It also gives you great suggestions for restaurants as well as an added bonus. So yeah, it's called Japan Travel App. And like I said, it can give you all these little benefits uh, and it just gives you something to look at while you're out and about in Japan as far as getting ideas for where to visit next. Number one. About the biggest tip that I can give you for visiting Japan. Even if you ignore all the other tips that I've offered you here in this video, do not ignore this tip. You must get yourself a Japan Rail Pass. Now this will offer you discounts that are not even available to the locals. So if you are a foreigner entering into Japan, get on board and go to japanrailpass.net and you'll find yourself given access to a discount once again that's not available to the locals it will pay for itself on its first trip now there are some exclusions to this it will give you access to about 90 percent of the shinkansen lines you must once you buy it before entering into japan you must go to the local central train station and activate it once you arrive in Japan. You nominate what what days you wish to activate it. So for example, if you are visiting for five days and you buy a three day pass, the three days will start once you activate it. So please keep that in mind that you need to activate it for the days that you will need it. But I tell you, this will be the best tip that I give you. Once again, japanrailpass.net it will even give you access to the local lines. You just have to show your ticket to the guards and then you will be given access through without having to use the machines. I can't recommend this enough. It got us quite a bit of travel. We made all the use of it we could while we were there and we've used this a number of times and we found that it gets easier and easier every time you go to Japan if you are going to do multiple trips. You'll find that it gets easier once you do it the first couple of times to activate the ticket. So there you have it. That's been my top 10 travel tips for anyone wanting to visit Japan. If you've got any uh, questions in relation to anything in this video, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get to those questions for you. 
Uh, and this is coming from someone that's been to Japan nine times in total. And I do plan to go back many, many more times if I can help it. Um, oh, by the way, the footage you're seeing here is from a steam train we actually got to ride on in our last visit, which was pretty cool. Everyone was waving and everyone was just so happy to see the steam train rolling past. And a lot of people with tripods taking photos of the train as it rolled past as well. Uh, and also, if anyone has got any tips that they think that I may have missed, leave a comment down below. I might have missed something that, uh, through traveling so many times to the country, I just forgot that is important. So yes, uh, do subscribe to my channel if you like what you see here. And I will be on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. And a special shout out to our mate here, the Dance Mania champion of Osaka. I just happened to be lucky enough to be walking past at the time and this dude was pulling off all the moves and gathering the crowd. <laughs> and this is a common sight. <laughs> Look at that. This is a common sight in Japan. And they're not young. Like, these dudes are older than me, some of them. No, you won't catch me doing this. <laughs> Anyone into Dance Mania here? Leave a comment. Tell me if you've got moves better than this dude. He scored an A, by the way. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to sign off by saying thanks for watching. And my name has been Brian, and I've been gaming since Spaces. Thanks, guys. Since spaces. <laughs>